Well, folks, place leaving South Jersey. And before we get this started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and comment below. Let me know you subscribed. Um, what's that? Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't want to park on the on the main road here. I park off the side here. Okay. Just checking, that's all. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. I parked in a residential area and uh, <laughs> and fell. Just want to make sure you know that the car belonged to somebody. Yeah. Good neighbors do you know do good things. You know they they look out for people. That's the, that's uh. Well, I like where I'm at right now. I'm in Glassboro, New Jersey, home of Rowan University. And I'm along um, uh, Delcy Drive. I'm not too far from Pittman. Um, uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> where was I? Okay. I, I happen to see this as I'm driving. I wanted to, to stop and take a look and share this with you, okay? And this is a no name gas station as it has extra power. Well, it used to. I don't think they have any power here. In fact, looking at the signs over the pumps, um, I would say this used to be a sit-go station at one point. And looking at the prices, I would say they've been closed for quite some time because uh, it's about uh, 459 to 463 in most places right now as I'm filming this. And seeing how the uh, covers are off the pumps. I'm guessing that they uh, had to shut things down. This is where the uh, the attendant who would pump your gas would wait when, it, when it's rainy or cold. In other states, well, 49 other states, this would, that would be where the cashier would be. But remember, this is New Jersey. We don't pump our own gas. Now, I don't know when the garage portion was closed, but it must have been fairly recent. And by the way, yeah, we're on, we're on camera. Smile, we're on candy camera. But again, we're not trying to do anything bad here. Ooh, for a former Sitco station, they have a bunch of mobile special oil. Hmm. Not mobile one, mind you, mobile special. And, uh, well, you can get a... A Coke or a Sprite or Palm Spring, and then they get some LMX, whatever that is. But apparently, they uh, they left uh, they left uh, not too too long ago, I guess. Wow. Looks fairly intact. Affordable car care, LLC. Unfortunately, people aren't going to be able to afford car care if affordable car care is closed. Probably what he did. All kinds of repairs and oil changes and whatnot and brakes and stuff. And, and we're on a fairly busy main road here, folks. So, I mean, if somebody wanted to buy this place and make it make it into a garage again or gas station they could looks like they bricked over the doorway which I can understand is really not much room between this and the, and the road here and I guess they wanted a little privacy so they painted over the windows well we can still look inside <laughs> and uh, We have a uh, part of the property is a fenced in yard here, but there's only a fence on one side, not on the opposite side. So we're going to go back around here. And well, someone decided to use this as a little shortcut. You always got that kind of driver, you know. Figures the roads, the rules are not for them. Thankfully, though, 
the folks I've run into here in this town seem very courteous and nice and for the most part just decent human beings and I think this says a lot about uh, the about um, uh, Glassboro. Okay, we have a former name here, Rocco's Automotive. Okay. We have a screen door for the potty, which is locked. Don't know if that's the men's or the women's room. Okay. So this is the only restroom they had. So that's your restroom. <laughs> and here's the kerosene pump. And I don't know the going rate for kerosene, so... If someone here does know, you can tell me, like, uh, if this is high or low, or this gives you an idea when the place closed. And here's the other side of the, of the, uh, here's, uh, heating oil, extra power heating oil. And this looks like it's a storage garage on uh, the property as well. Again... You know, if, uh, if there's any sort of uh, no trespassing signs, you know, we'll vacate the property at once, obviously. Oh. And got, you know, lawn equipment, basin, other odds and ends. Looks like a little storage shed for all their stuff. And uh, all in all, here, here's the rest of the fencing here. So they had quite a large property at one time. Interesting. Interesting. Well, folks, if you like what you see, um, uh, you know what to do, of course. Like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Have a great day out there. Look out for your neighbors and your friends and uh, anyone you run into. That's part of being neighborly, folks. And I will see you on the next video. I can't believe I got in this place.